<laughs> it's currently 11:47 at night, Friday night. Um, and I'm letting you all into one of my poorer choices in life, okay? Because with this vlog, you're gonna get the real, you're gonna get the truth. <laughs> Not that I don't tell the truth out here, but for some reason, people think that I do everything right and I'm so organized and I'm just killing it at all times. Let me help you know that that is false, largely false. <laughs> Um, and yeah, I am currently preparing to take a practice exam of the praxis exam that I have to take in the morning. Mm -hmm. I registered for the praxis, which is, there's all sorts of different praxis, praxis exams you can register for through ETS, but this one is specifically for school psychologists for us to get our license. And we had three years as PhD students to take this. After your first two years of content, you are prepared to take the practice exam because um, it's for specialist level people and PhD level people alike. Um, and so I'm well prepared to take this exam just by the fact that I've been in school so long. So that's why I kind of waited on this. I didn't expect to wait this long. I'm letting you all in on my poor decision to just now at 11.49 start the practice, practice exams of the practice. Um, I have 10 uses. So I think I'm gonna use a good chunk of them, maybe depending on how long this takes. Now that I think about it, if it's a practice <clears throat> full version, this is gonna take close to two hours. I've made better decisions in my life. I'm aware of that. Essentially, I'm gonna be up all night and this exam is actually at 8.30 in the morning. It's literally a 140 minute test. It's all multiple choice on the computer. If you got fluid reasoning in tech, sorry, I'm talking like a psychologist. <laughs> Essentially, I think I'll be able to put two and two together to pass this exam. But I am gonna take this practice and stop talking to y'all because I'm losing, not even daylight, cause it's midnight, but I'm losing time, so. Is there a good draft? I'm gonna look this up, cause I've never heard of it. Ah, yep. I look like a naked mole rat because testing site, you can't have jewelry, you can't have anything. I'm headed to take my practice exam. Praxis, not practice. It's the real thing, it's not practice. Um, totally not concerned about it. All I need is a passing score. This is not one of those things where I'm like, I have to be in the top 95%, don't care. Hear me say. No ma'am, above a score of 147. We all get to be school psychologists. We all get to get our license. So I don't care nothing about a fancy score today. Um, I did stay up and do the practice exam yesterday and it went pretty well. Um, it actually went very well for me to be like, you know, just taking it off the cuff. Um, so yeah, I am exhausted. It's very early. Especially for a Saturday. Like I said, it's 7.43. I've been up since like, my alarm went off at 5.30, but I've really been up, up since like 6.50, because I couldn't, my body was like, nope. But I do have to get on the road. The place is 15 minutes away, and I have to be there a half hour early, which you do the math. So yeah, I just wanted to check in and let you guys know I'm headed to my exam. I hope to check in afterwards and let you guys know how it goes, but I might take a nap first because I think as soon as I come back, I'm going to sleep. You tell by my joy that I passed. Don't judge me for still having my coat on. I've been home for a while, <sighs> but I passed guys. It got a little icy there for a second. Some of the questions were very much straight questions. I mean, there's no way for you to really gauge how you're doing as you go. Um, 
So I got to the end like, Lord, all I need is 147. That's all I need. That's all I need. And we got well beyond the 147, okay? Won't he do it? Won't he will? These people's trying to sell me all this extra practice stuff and materials and spend all this extra money. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. You know how much money I spent to practice for this exam? Um, four years, four and a half years of full tuition at Research One Institutions in school psychology and psychology. That is my practice test <laughs> for this practice exam. And I passed. But I wanted to show you guys this. One of my friends from my childhood, literally, we grew up in the same church. She messaged me on Instagram, kind of out the blue. I, I don't remember, she, I, she had to reach out before for me to give her my address. I don't remember this occurring, right? So I, I have no recollection. But she kind of jumped in my inbox the other day on Instagram and was like, hey, have you checked your mail? Um, I sent you something, did you get it? And I was like, no, I haven't. But you know what? I get the UPS like daily digest and they had some tracking number on there for UPS. And I'm like, I didn't order nothing. And I meant to go check it out, never did. Got the message from her and was like, okay, let me go check it out. Y'all, y'all, look what she got me. Y'all, you guys, look at it. You see it? You see it? A random mug with PhD on it. This is literally my first official, unofficial graduation gift because I ain't graduated yet and I still gotta defend, okay? I low-key feel guilty drinking out of this because it's not official yet. My excuse is that it's motivation for me to get finished <laughs> with this dissertation, but oh my gosh, you guys. It's so funny because I follow, um, I think Paige Danielle has these, but I know for a fact um, Tiffany Davidson from the Daily Davidson. She has like racks of these Ray Dunn mugs for like different holidays. She got all kinds of stuff. I think she got like wifey, husband, all the, she's always talking about Ray Dunn mugs. And I'm like, I never really knew what that was really until I started following her and she had so many of them. So now I have my own. And it's so perfectly thoughtful and specialized to me. Like, it's perfect. She said she and her mom saw it and just, you know, couldn't pass it up, thought of me. So I was super grateful. And uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you got to see it there too. But I just figured I'd show you too because I'm so excited to use it. computer all day and my eyes get really fatigued now with the computer I don't know if this is anyone else's story but to the point where I'm pretty sure I need glasses at this point like my eyes used to be 2020 and now my eyes are blurry like even now as I look at this my face is like blurry to me and this is becoming a norm so probably need to go visit the eye doctor and get my eyes checked so sorry for squinting. It's 
on February 22nd and I told myself I was going to pack after work because I'm going home to Ohio for my birthday. Uh, my birthday is Thursday, February 25th and I'm going home. And I told myself after work, you're gonna pack, so your bag is ready and then you're gonna get in the bed. And then I didn't. So here we are. It's late y'all and I promise you my brain is not in one whole piece. You know what, somebody today, it was my supervisor actually, she was like, you have dissertation brain. And I was like, yes, thank you. Okay, give an excuse to put all this forgetfulness and confusion. <laughs> Like, give me a reason because, man, when I tell you the simplest stuff, like today, I was literally watching a girl do an ad for mascara, okay? So she's putting on mascara, and in my head, I'm like trying to think of the word mascara. And I said, what, what was I saying? I think I said eyeshadow. Like, you know how your brain is just like tr surfing for words? And it was eyeshadow, it was lipstick, it was something else, eyeliner. Then I said, gave me think, use, use your brain. What is it called? And then mascara came to me 10 seconds too late. So, <laughs> woo, this is, see, dissertation brain <laughs> is real. My praise report today, which I am so excited to share with you all, cause you all were praying, you all were fasting, you all were sending me paragraphs of encouragement. Y'all were going in on behalf of my family. And I just wanna say thank you on behalf of me as well. And I just wanna say thank you because your prayers are paying off. And my dad underwent scans last week, he had to drink this the liquid stuff and um, couldn't eat for a certain period of time so that they could clearly see what was going on inside of him. And all the scans came back, no cancer. He is cancer free, there's no cancer in his body. Oh, I just wanna have the praise break that I need to have. Just know, even though I'm not bucking and shouting right now, it's internally, y'all just don't know. This lighting is better, that was awful. I just wanted to say his 65th birthday, his last chemo treatment, and my defense, my dissertation defense, are all within a week of each other. Like, literally, they're like right here. And I would just like to say that that's not a coincidence. I would like to say that it's God capping off our testimony and how we have been fighting, Lord, for the victory on the other side of this season. And we. We get it all in the span of a week, um, come April. So, ah, uh, y'all, just God is good. I'm on my way home, thank you Jesus. Y'all, let me tell you. First of all, today has been just a great day, okay? And we thank the Lord. But, I also have Chick-fil-A, hallelujah. I got some food, um, cause I need to take my medicine. And I didn't have any food on my stomach, so. Grabbed some food, topped off my gas, got a few snacks for the road. Just in case I need to take medicine before I get back. It's that time of the month, do not be concerned. I am fine, it's just, gotta stay alive out here. Um, but yeah, this morning, testing went well with my student. And I kid you not, the thought, just the thought of like being on my way home was like, blessing me beyond belief. <laughs> like my whole mood has shifted. And it's like this pandemic and being alone so much, it really, it really has a big impact. I don't even think I realize how much of an impact it has sometimes. So, I was listening to, it's literally my favorite song, has been since it came out in like November. But I was listening to He Always Provides on the way to, I had to run by Firestone to get my car, um, my windshield wiper fluid topped off, because I was running out. 
and literally on the way there i have heard this song when i tell y'all at least a hundred times like i'm not exaggerating i listen to this song at least once or twice in a day but it had been a couple of days since i listened to this song i think and i played this song on the way there and when i tell you i got overwhelmed with the goodness of god like i i my testimony right now like of my dad there be no sign of cancer in his body like i'm getting done with this degree like seeing these things come to life and the testimony behind them and like the fact that god has always provided along this journey like when when chandler on that song says like i can look back and see that you've been good to me i can look back and see that you've been faithful to me you never left I kid you not I was in this car sobbing like had to pull it together before walking into Firestone and asking for some windshield wiper fluid because God is so faithful and it's so easy to get distracted from that like it's so easy to just get down and be in just a rough dark place you know what I mean like just not in a good space but when you get that glimpse and you just think back for two seconds it y'all it it overwhelmed me like that song talks about god being a healer i'm like that's my daddy it talks about like how he never left us throughout a journey i'm like that's me in this whole phd process college school the last 10 years of my life Woo! so yeah i was i was overtaken i'm just ready to have a, a fun week home still working but being home for my birthday is gonna be great so i'm excited and i just want to check in and let y'all know that i'm on the road hello it is um the next day almost the next next day since i arrived in ohio um yeah whoa what am i looking like on here if i look frustrated it's because i am um I think we're at the 10 minute countdown to my birthday, maybe nine, eight minute countdown to my birthday. And I am prepping for what's probably going to be an all nighter, which the thought of that just makes me live it. There's a rage inside of me that I'm trying to withhold from y'all. So, even though I said after that video I put out in December, I'm not going to be crying and falling apart to y'all no more on YouTube. That's what I said. But you might get a little glimpse tonight. I'm trying to hold it together. But I'm just mad that this is how I'm bringing in my birthday. I am... Y'all already know this, how over I am with school, so I'm not even going to do that to you by reiterate well maybe i will because right now i feel it <laughs> oh if there was an expression beyond fed up that would be what i would give y'all right now i didn't get my nails done for my birthday that was the one thing that i was like man it would just be nice to get my nails done didn't happen um Mainly because I didn't have the time because I've got reports due tomorrow and I've got packed work schedules and I'm like no one person is supposed to have to deal with this in the middle of a pandemic, Gamonium Ponderosa. And I want to make something out of my birthday tomorrow and my family wants to do a couple things and um, you know already amid a pandemic that's tough to 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 try to pull off and then i'm like how do i enjoy myself when the whole time i'm there i'm going to be thinking about all of these lovely deadlines they're just looking me in the face like hey i'm telling you i would not wish this on my worst enemy my nails aren't done my hair won't be done I'm breaking out. <laughs> like, is it my birthday yet? So we can just make this official. Happy 
four minutes. It's 11.56. If anything, I'm just happy to be around family. So when I have breakdowns like this, at least somebody is here to like make sure I'm still breathing. <laughs> Some days I really wonder if all this is really worth it, you know? Like, what's the point? If I gotta go through all this, what is the point? It's my birthday. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> okay, okay! Brother came out with a swing! Okay! It's a special day. Okay! Okay! Guys, it's my birthday. Huh? Sorry for the court. First of all, everyone's talking at the same time, but it's okay. I forgot my camera at home, so sorry for the quality of this video. But, happy birthday! It's my birthday! Officially, as of 429, because my mother doesn't celebrate my birthday until I actually, until the time I was born. Is she is officially. Do you see it, like? Oh, so oh, my dad wants to make sure y'all see birthday. my my dad's beard. He's very proud of it. Yes, I got you. Oh, okay, all right, let's get it. Where? Huh? Well, Wait, I, what is this? It's went... the vlog. Oh, <laughs> you always doing that. Show them this something else. Uh, maybe uh, this. Uh, Have you ever seen that? <laughs> You see, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. I won't show them everything. But he has this amazing loft wall over here. Is that not amazing? Couldn't y'all just see all of the Instagram photos if this is my apartment? I think he should switch with me. This is the kind of vibe that I want when I move out of uh, my current place. I need like a loft or something. But I want to take my birthday photos on this wall. I should probably give some uh, recap from <laughs> if I ended up putting that clip from last night in there. Y'all, yeah. I'm sorry, okay? But I'm not sorry. I show y'all the down and the ups, okay? And today ended up turning out a lot better than I intended. Very glad that it turned out the way that it did because as you can see last night, I was kind of in shambles. And I still have work to do tonight, but I told myself today's my birthday. I, got, I stopped working at 3.30 when my time is off and I went and got dressed and I don't have much. I think the shoes, oh, wait, okay. I think the shoes are setting me off here because I didn't really have an outfit for my birthday. So I just kind of threw something together and I like it. And I got my new glasses on and I feel kind of cute. Okay, so. I pulled it together and I'm gonna enjoy myself tonight and not think about work until I get home. Now, am I gonna have to stay up and do a little extra work tonight? Yes. But right now, I'm enjoying my birthday. So, all five of us are about to get together here in Cleveland and go out to eat and then we're gonna see Remy later on for those of y'all who recognize that person. Everybody been praying for you, Dad, and asking about you on YouTube. Yeah. Yep. They've been thinking well, about you and praying for you. And I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for praying for me. God is blessing. I'm you doing, doing good, huh? I'm doing very well. And, and, and what happened? Tell me. Uh, I had a CAT scan, and the CAT scan showed no more cancer. <laughs> My shout feet. <laughs> 
it's the prayers of the righteous. Period. <laughs> Y'all righteous, YouTube. That's what it is. We shut the place down. <laughs> we shut the place down because these thirsties. Oh, we thirsty? Just oh. a little bit. Oh, yeah. Dang. Just a little thirsty. They was best friends with Rennie. Rennie gave me a birthday shout out, you guys. Rennie gave me a birthday shout out and he danced with me for my birthday. I'll put the clip in here. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Oh, man. 